What's down is two sectors, mining and non-metallic minerals. That, of course, has to do with the commodity bus going down. In particular, the big crunch has been with mining of new wells. What's going on out there? Why is oil so cheap? Well, look, this is not a demand phenomenon. I can't believe it. I can't tell you how many times I've heard this, this sort of throwaway line in the news. Oil is so cheap because of China. Really? China? First of all, folks, like, look, I know China's slow, but they haven't stopped growing. They're still growing. By the way, for anybody who's wondering, in 2015, the Chinese imported 9% more oil than they did in 2014. Cheap oil is not a Chinese phenomenon, period. This is not a demand issue. Oil is cheap not because of demand. Oil is cheap because of supply. What kind of a supply? American supply. Look, five, six years ago, U.S. production exploded. And we went from a little over 5 million barrels a day to almost 10 million barrels a day. Why? Because of fracking. To put this in context, right now the U.S. is producing more oil than any other country in the world. We're producing 15% more oil annually than Saudi Arabia is. People keep saying, why isn't Saudi Arabia trying to drive prices up? Because they're no longer the swing producer. We are. And by the way, we've had cheap oil for over a year. Why hasn't, why hasn't production fallen? Because they got so far ahead of themselves in terms of fracking that there were over 2,000 drilled wells, drilled unfrack wells, and oil prices started to fall. And every time oil prices go up just a little bit, they uncap a well, crack it, pull the oil out. And this, hasn't, this isn't going to slow down at all. Look, fracking is a brand new technology. We have years and years of supply of oil sitting in the round in shale oil reserves. And we're not the only ones. The Russians have huge oil reserves. Brazil, Argentina, China, everybody has these huge shale oil reserves. This is a brave new world. It's a brave new world, and that means oil is going to be cheap for a while. Now I realize that's tough on Kern County. By the way, you inventing fracking. This is your fault. The Russians and the Saudi Arabians will be following a lawsuit against you any time now. Be prepared. But, it, you know, it's a brave new world. Simple as that. And by the way, on net, yes, this is good for the U.S. economy, period. It's good for consumers. It's good for the farmers. It's good for the logistics companies. It's fine. Yes, there's some shakeout, but it's not going to sink the U.S. economy. Not even close. Look, we've seen this play out before. In the mid-80s, in the late 90s, two periods of time, we see big pullbacks in mining in the U.S. economy, and it didn't influence anything. Nothing else happened because it's relatively constrained. 